If you have a saw pool, it's always good to get familiar with the different parts of your system. Not only does this help you run your unit correctly, but it can also assist you in troubleshooting later on. So here it is, all in 60 seconds. As you can see in front of us, this is what your typical saw system looks like. The appearance of these systems may vary a bit between other models, but for the most part, they share these basic components. First thing you'll notice here is the box. This is the control module, also known as the power supply. This is where you usually find your controls as well as your air lights, but its main purpose is to send power to our next component, the cell. As power gets sent to the cell, it converts the salt molecules to a free form of chlorine and it does this through a process called electrolysis. Now onto the last piece of the system, the flow switch. Many models have an external flow switch, such as this one, or an internal one located inside the cell chamber. This device ensures that your circulation system is running before the salt system begins. So there you have it, the basic components of a salt water system. If you have any questions, please give us a call. I'm Jared with Discount Salt Pool. Thanks for watching.